Overall, I've really enjoyed the first year uh, environmental science, um, especially the Exeter Field course. Not only did we learn a, like a huge amount of information in such a short space of time, we also uh, managed to bond with the year group much better and also the lecturers as well, you get to know them much, much better. Uh, playing Zoomy Zoomy with the lecturers in Weatherspoons is one of the best experiences you'll ever have. Uh, so this year we went to Exeter in early April and uh, for me it was a fantastic trip, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was... We had to do quite a bit of work. No, we learned lots of new, lots of skills, I think. But um, it was such a good time. The weather was amazing, which we were really lucky with. Yeah. Um, we our project work, which we did, was really good fun as well. I found. What project did you do? Allotments. I had to do um, a project on finding out why allotment usage has changed next to. I did mine on uh, freshwater influence on the marine rocky shore. And then for the other days, we went to the beach in Tor Bay. We went to a river called the River Teen, and then another day we went to Dawlish as well. So we covered a lot in just a week. Yeah. And um, I think we, we all had... Leveling equipment. Oh yeah. That was good. We had a lot of fun together, I think. Um, I think the experience, it was nice that we could all share it and, you know, eating together every night, yeah. having the two hour lecture after dinner, go, going to the pub. Playing frisbee playing and getting frisbee. it stuck in a tree all the time. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, the favourite part of my first year, I think, was going to Exeter because it really bonded us as a year, which was really nice. And we went to Dawlish Warren and the River Tain, and it was just really pretty. And we got to like hang out with the environmental agency for a day and do fishing, and that was really fun. Um, it was a good way to get to know the lecturers a bit better as well. The Exeter field trip was brilliant. It was great for us to all get together. Sorry, a bit of rain. <laughs> <laughs> It's great for us all to get together, um, we had a lot of fun, you could do a certain project so we would target your interests and your passions, I did the hydroelectricity project and I know I got a lot closer with my group, um, made some good friends and you get to know everyone on the course and it's just a great time for you all to get together towards the end of the year and also the lecturers join in and it's all great fun and I don't think other courses have that, a lot of people were jealous that we got to go on a little trip together was one of the best field trips I've ever been on. Um, it was the reason we all got together. And the lecturers came along, it was great fun. Um, we went out there and the students beforehand were so excited about it. Um, it was obvious and so we all knew it was going to be a great trip. Uh, we all got, um, it was lovely weather for a start in Exeter, beautifully, uh, beautifully sunny. Uh, got a bit of a sunburn actually, that nice. Um, but Exeter itself was a great time. We all got on our projects, and the social side of it as well was great. We all went out together at night. We'd been working all day. I'm not gonna lie, the work was you know, hard and good, but um, the social side was brilliant. We all went out in the night. We'd go to the pub, just we'd play frisbee out at night time in the dark. Bit of a health hazard. <laughs> Would hit some people in the face. Frisbee in the dark, not a clever, not a clever idea whoever came up with that. What's your favorite field trip? <laughs> That's hard to say. Um, I mean, I, having having done the uh, the four year undergraduate masters, I went on two field trips, um, two sort of major field trips. The first one, uh, Exeter, fantastic. The work was hard, but there was a lot of people there, and it's a great opportunity to get to know the academics and the you know fellow course mates. Um, but then there was another field trip uh, between second and third year which was just for people studying the undergraduate masters and uh, that was fantastic because you saw already new people so it's not like getting together with your mates and you know yeah working hard and playing hard as well. One of, the, one of my favourite things about the University of Southampton and environmental science here was being able to get involved with the Environmental Science Student Society. Um, about a year ago I was voted president and it was just a fantastic opportunity. I, I had like so much, there's so many opportunities I could get involved with and you know, actually start making a difference out in the like the, the great like in the uh, local area. One of the one of the best things about environmental science at the University of Southampton is the small uh, size in each year. Um, there's only about 50 or 60 of us in our year, and it's made it really nice and really easy to get on with other people. Like you can interact and you get uh, like with everyone, and we're basically all like one big group of friends. And it's really nice because we all hang out after lectures, and that's another thing you really need to consider wherever you decide to go. It's like you're here to a degree, but at the same time, you know, you, you will not be comfortable where you are, and I'm, I couldn't be happier, to be honest with you.
So, having just finished your final year at University of Southampton, what's the fondest memory you're going to take away with you from this course? Annie? I think it's pretty hard to just put it down to one, but I'm going to start with joining. I did netball and I've done hockey at university, and it's been great, great fun. Like, literally, like a laugh a minute every time you're with the hockey girls and the netball girls, the socials, playing sports, bonding with people so like tightly and getting to know everyone really well. It's been awesome fun. And the fancy dress on Wednesday nights, it's been pretty epic. And then also maybe even working at Jester's, like having done that, I've met a new group of people in my third year, that's been really enjoyable. Discounts, free entry, it's been epic as well. <laughs> and then I got to also mention um, the extra trip um, in first year for environmental science. That was a great, really key sort of like week of getting to know our course really well and was doing some really fun course work. Yeah. yeah, Alex, what's been uh, your biggest I memory? Don't, I don't think you can really put it down to just uh, one, one memory, but there's a lot of it with the yes, ashes. Not so nice out, which would be memorable. The Christmas ball, it's always good. Uh, Vomita stunt team, which is uh, hopefully will carry on for the years. I think, uh, <laughs> many good memories. What is the stunt team? Can you just explain it for uh, us and how it was, came to be? It was formed uh, in my second year, uh, with first years and second years. Uh, and it was five of us guys who decided to uh, uh, make a period in a week like from there we decided one of our guys decided to buy uh, tights, hot pants and an uh, embroidered shirt for us all uh, with our own personalised <laughs> names and then we decided to give a show of a Christmas ball where we performed some kind of jokes. Uh, some stunning moves I heard. Yeah, definitely. And it was definitely, it's, it's great fun, that's the kind of thing which is what makes ES great is that you feel comfortable Fantastic. But then again, um, I've also had some great memories through Surrey, which is uh, University of Whatever Unit, which is part of, kind of part of the unit, which I've been uh, I get paid to do, which is great. And I've had great nights throughout, like travel night, which is a big formal dinner. They have four or five courses, and you have toasts and songs and stuff like that. Um, and, and it's uh, keep drinking until the early hours. It's great fun. And I'm also through them being able to do great things like uh, I went sailing in, in a round the world race and I sailed from Rio de Janeiro to Cape Town. And uh, it was all part of the so it's so nice to visit Southampton University. Fantastic. Fee? Um, I mean, obviously, the, like, the whole three years has been amazing, but um, I think that one of the, the key moments, the defining moments in ES was the extra field trip in the first year because, I mean, you make that's that sets the foundations for the, the next three years and um, some of the socials have been absolutely amazing and um, just spending time with your friends and dressing up and all those kind of things like it's been a really really good three years all together I is he? Um, yeah, I think it's really about meeting loads of like-minded people and actually I do think that doing environmental science you have got to learn so much and you get really, really passionate about it and I think that's what I've really loved and that is like, at the end of the day what we are all here for. Mm. It's actually learning and now feeling really <coughs> ready to kind of go out and be like adults properly. <laughs> but I think the main thing is you know, friends, friends for life, we made you. I think all of us can say that. And uh, so it is. It is sad that we're all all gonna go now, but it has been just fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, it's been an epic journey. Um, it really has. Any last journey. messages that you'd like to leave for the lecturers and tutors? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for everything. Yeah. And That's for amazing. students who are considering coming here, like, it sounds really cliche, but it probably will be like in years' time. I look back and think they were great days. Yeah. 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 Best three years ever. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much.